The Year Girls program has been successful this year because we've continued on with some of the key components we know are working well. This includes the girls only approach. We know from the girls that they enjoy participating with and alongside other girls in a friendly and social environment. The program's also really flexible and accessible. There's no uniforms or equipment needed. You can come on your own or bring your friends and there's no cricket experience required. It's all about having fun and trying something new. There's no season long commitment. Hubs last four to six weeks and sessions are fun, action packed, lasting no longer than an hour. So some of the innovations we've included this year to help keep the program fresh and exciting include sourcing new equipment such as Killy Kitty Bats from Samoa and also asking each of our associations to engage with a new community and create a new initiative to target the age of 14 to 17 year olds. We know this is a challenge across many sports and it's been great to see some initiatives such as Year Girls Move, Year Girls Smash and Year Girls Backyard Cricket. These innovations are helping change the way cricket is delivered across the network. The activators are central to the success of the program. We've essentially created a new workforce of U-Girls activators with over 70 activators delivering the program nationwide. Our activators are young, vibrant and enthusiastic about the program. They're predominantly female with over 80% of our activators female and an average age of 21. The activators don't have to have any cricket experience, but it's more important that they're positive, enthusiastic and relatable to the girls. The biggest piece of feedback we get from the girls is that they love when the activators join in, be a bit silly and get amongst the action themselves. I know certainly from delivering some of the Year Girls sessions, it's been the highlight of my working week being involved with the girls and having lots of fun. We've placed a strong emphasis on our activator training as we know how important the activators are in creating a great quality experience for our participants. We have a three module training which includes a mixture of online sessions and a practical session in person with their association. Each association also has a coach developer assigned to Year Girls which means our activators feel supported and that they have development opportunities. We start by providing some of the background around why we're doing what we're doing as we believe it's really important our activators understand some of the barriers to female participation and what we're doing with the Year Girls program to mitigate these. We're really fortunate that we have a positive and enthusiastic workforce which are out there to make great opportunities for females to participate. We know our activators are really important to the success of the program because their actions and attitudes can directly rub off and impact the experience that the girls are having. This season we've still been able to deliver Year Girls safely despite challenges with COVID-19. We've had a slight pivot with more of an emphasis on our community hubs which are less reliant on going into schools. We also ensure that all of our Year Girls hubs and all of our activators are delivered under safety guidelines with COVID-19. It's really important that our activators are open to discussing with whānau and participants around how we can deliver Year Girls safely under COVID guidelines. The last five years or so has seen New Zealand Cricket and our Cricket Network place a huge emphasis on improving the way in which we uh, connect with and embrace women and girls into cricket. One of the great examples of that is the Year Girls Initiative. We realised that sometimes our cricket offerings weren't the sort of thing that would attract young girls to want to play cricket, try cricket, so we invented Year Girls, which, which is a different way of them participating in cricket. It's taking off, it's three years into it now, it's building strongly every year, the numbers participating in it are, are growing and growing. And one of also the great things that's happening with it is we're building up a workforce delivering year girls of young females right around New Zealand. It's going really well and it is, it is a strong part of our future.